what's going on guys living zombies here back with another pokemon go video and in today's video guys we are talking about a new max battle pokemon which is of course as you see right here max battles of phalanx phalanx is our second three star max battle pokemon here in pokemon go and let me tell you right now trying to solo this is very very challenging i honestly don't even know if it's possible but let's talk about the best counters to use up against phalanx if you do want to catch this awesome pokemon uh do remember it is a three star max battle so it's going to require 400 max particles you get 7500 xp as a reward you might get two golden raspberries two rare candies it depends based off of rng but yeah the best counters to use will be that metagross dynamax and that charizard dynamax most of you guys might have a charizard dynamax already if you were trying to solo beldum max battles so yeah charizard just change that fast move to air slash and its max move will change to the flying type max move and that is going to be super effective up against phalanx because phalanx is a pure fighting type pokemon and then for metagross get the full psychic type move set psychic type moves are going to be super effective up against the phalanx so zen headbutt and psychic so therefore it's going to have a psychic dynamax max move now pokemon go did make some changes to max battles guys even to one star max battles they did make it tougher but yeah one star and three star max battles are tougher than they were before when they first dropped in the game the max meter charges at a slower pace also you're going to be dealing less damage to the raid boss the raid boss is going to deal more damage to you as well so yeah it is a lot tougher to solo three star max battles i mean as you guys can tell from these clips right here i mean it is very tough to solo this phalanx you would probably have to make the charizards slash metagross have a level three max move you would have to power it up so freaking much is it worth all that stardust max particles and candy probably not because it's just a phalanx and you can only use dynamax phalanx in dynamax battles right so i definitely would not recommend you know using so much stardust using max particles so much candy so much xl candy it's not going to be worth it just to simply solo a phalanx right but yeah as you guys can see with four people in the max battle of phalanx even when these four people are using base evolution pokemon the kanto starters it is a lot easier to take down the phalanx but even in that situation we did have to dynamax three separate times at least so like i said just just even getting another person in your max battle is going to make the battle a lot easier but yeah trying to solo phalanx is going to be very very challenging so yeah these max battles are taking place on october 1st local time as soon as it hits 6 a.m local time on october 1st you guys can join these phalanx max battles but do remember the galler starters should also be in max battles too but i haven't seen any of them around in the areas where phalanx is happening so i don't know if the galler starters will be later in the week i'm not too sure but of course those will be one star max battles so you can definitely solo them but do remember it did get a little bit tougher for even soloing the one star max battles so yeah if you guys do attempt to solo a phalanx let me know how you guys did and if you were able to solo a phalanx which i would be pretty impressed let me know the squad that you guys used to do so so yeah guys like i said trying to solo three star max battles is very very tough so let me know in the comments below again if you guys are able to solo a phalanx but again more than likely it's going to require a lot of stardust and candy but yeah let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed drop a like in the video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace